Hello guys, welcome again to another tutorial. In this lesson we are going to talk about uh, the, trans the basic transformation, okay? Uh, basically this is everything that is related to the position, the rotation and the scale of your object. There are two ways to do transformation on, uh, on the object. One is using the manipulators, that is the first one that we are going to talk about. And the other one is to use the shortcuts. That's uh, the my that's the one that I use um, always. So let's start with the, the position of an object, or so, uh, and uh, with this uh, manipulator over here. That if you click here, or if you left your mouse, you can see move. Okay. And um, as you can see, it have uh, appeared uh, those little arrows um, in the in the center of our object. Before click on on your uh, transformator, make sure that you have your object selected. Otherwise, it won't appear anything. Okay. So I have selected the cube. I have clicked on move, and now let's move our object. Um, those little arrows have colors, okay? If you those colors are according to are according to your axis. So if I click on the blue one, the blue one it it represents the z axis. So if I click on blue one, I will move my object on the z axis. If I press green on the y, and if I press red on the x. Um, as you probably noticed, you have uh, a little squares over here. Uh, these squares are called plane constraints, okay? Um, and they are used to lock uh, or to move uh, an object only in two axes. For example, if I want to move my object in Y and X except the Z, I click on the blue one, okay? The blue represents the Z. But in the case of the constraint, it will move the object in the other two axes except the Z1. Let's try it, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm moving on the X and Y except Z. If I click on the red one, what do you think that will happen? We are going to move the object on the Z and on the Y except on the X. And if I click on the green one, I will move on the Z and on the X except the Y. Okay, that's easy to understand. Let's uh, talk about the next one. That is this one, the rotate tool. Okay, as you probably noted, in the arrows have disappeared. Now we have those little circles. Circles. Okay, the red one rotates your object on the y-axis that is the one that is represented by the green color the red one on the x and the blue on the z okay if you want to rotate your object freely you just need to click in any part inside this white circle you know as you can see I am rotating in all three axes if you click on the white circle you rotate your object according to your view okay that's easy Let's move on. Let's talk about the scale. The scale it's much similar to the to the move tool. Um, basically, we have not the arrows, but we have those little cubes over here, and the to scale is basically the same. If I want to scale on the z-axis, I click on the blue one. If I want to scale on the y-axis, I click on the green one. And if I want to scale on the x-axis, I click on the red one. We can use the, the constraints also. Okay. 
if I want to scale it on all axes except the red ones that are the X axis I will click here I am scaling now on the Z and Y except the X if I want to scale it on the Y and X except the Z that is the blue one I will click here okay and if I want to scale it on the Z and X I click on the green one okay uh, the color in this case the color that you don't want to apply the transformator is the color where you click you have also another option that is this one over here ah, let me just um, talk about another thing if you want to scale freely the process is the same you just need to click inside that white circle and you are scaling your object on the three coordinates okay and if you want uh, to scale it according to your view you just need to click on that white circle over here the last one that i want to talk with you is this one okay if you left your mouse over here it says transform and basically it allows us to do all that three uh, things uh, without uh, clicking in each one independently i don't use this i don't use this a lot because i think that is a little bit confusing so that's up to you um next uh, i will explain to you uh, the the shortcut method that is the one that i use always okay so let's move using the keyboard shortcut to move press g the first letter of grab and now as you can see i am moving or grabbing my object freely around the scene if you want to move it in a certain axis you just need to type the letter of that x for example if i press z I am now moving my object on Z axis. If I press X, I am moving my object on the X axis. And if I press Y, I am moving my object on the Y axis. Okay. If you want to move your object in two axes except one, you just need to press G and then Shift and the, the letter of the axis that you don't want to move it for example if i want to move my object on the x and y axis now i press shift z and now i can move freely on the x and y except z if i want to move on the z and y except x i will press x shift x for example g to grab shift x and now i can move my object on the z and on the y okay and let's uh, recapitulate this okay to move you press g you select the letter of the axis that you want to move your object if you want to move it freely you don't need to press anything and if you want to move it uh, in two axes except one you press shift and the letter of the x that you don't want to move it for example i press shift z so it will move on the x and y axis next thing is the rotate tool to rotate you can press the r key first letter of rotate and now as you can see i'm rotating my object freely okay the logic is the same if you want to rotate on the x you can press x on the y you can press y on the z you press z okay and if you want to rotate in two axes except one for example in x and y except z you can press shift and z okay the logic is exactly the same let's talk about the last one that is the scale to scale you can press 
the S key first letter of scale and now as you can see I'm scaling my object freely on the on the screen if you want to scale it on the Z axis is the same you can press S and Z okay if you want to scale it on the X you can press S and X and if you want to scale it on the Y you can press S and Y again if you want to do that in two axes, you just need to press shift and the other X that you don't want to scale it. For example, if I want to scale this object in the Y and X axis, I will press shift Z. And now I'm scaling the object on the X and Y axis. Um, that's it. Uh, I hope that you have liked it. Um, if you like my channel, please subscribe. I hope to see you soon in my next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.